Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog. So today, well, anyway, it's gonna be a vlog, a day in my life vlog. I just thought it would be a fun day to do a day in my life vlog. But it's different because I've been doing a lot of stuff lately, and I just want to bring you along with me throughout my day. Basically, I drink one glass of water, pagkagising ko. Because it helps me to kickstart my metabolism and then I drink a cup of coffee. But I'm trying to avoid, you know, cream and milk. Pero mahirap talaga. Pero dapat ba coffee lang. But I can't. It's hard. Nagising talaga ako na umaga ng maaga ngayon just to work out. Kasi mas gusto ko mag-workout sa morning. I don't know. It motivates me to get up and to get active kesa sa gabi ako mag-workout. So now I'm into Chloe Ting's uh, workout routine. Pero pa iba iba Sometimes I found some videos on TikTok na ginagaya ko din paminsan-minsan. Um, what else? I work out like six times a week para at least, you know, kahit, I don't know, kahit kumain ako ng sobra. Parang feeling ko pag kumain ako ng sobra, workout ako ng burn ko naman yung calories but uh, I'm not a fitness guru yun lang yung feeling ko honestly I'm so dead with yesterday's workout because I did upper body workout and cardio so my body really hurts right now just want to say and also if you can take up 20 to 30 minutes out of your day just to do a quick little workout it makes difference in the long run diba? health is well guys what i usually eat every morning white bread i love white bread but sometimes if like super nagahabol ako ng um pag lose ng weight i'm trying to eat uh what do you call this wheat bread with raisins para at least sweet siya kahit papan hindi siya sobrang dry and then Boiled egg. I crush boiled egg with mayo. I know it's bad, but that's my favorite. Whatever. Okay, guys. Marami nagtatanong sa akin what's really my goal, why I always work out. You know, honestly, when I started working out, I just want to lose weight. That's it. I matanggal yung um, berry, yung fat sa chan ko, something like that. Then, nung medyo na-achieve ko na yung kapayatan na gusto ko, I realized na, oh, I don't wanna be skinny. I wanna get, I wanna, I wanna look. I wanna gain weight. I wanna gain weight, sorry. I wanna gain muscle. So, gusto ko, di bata ka, pero medyo. That's why, I asked my friend, and he told me na I have to count my calories per day. And then, kailangan kong i-feed yung muscle ko every time after ko mag-workout. Kasi ang ginagawa ko, hindi ako makain. And that's bad. So, I bought this one. Thank you, Shopee, for making it possible. Yan. So, dito, mas madali na masukat ko or matimbang ko yung kinakain ko per day. So I'm 48 kilos. I'm 18 years old. <laughs> so I'm 24 years old. So the goal ko is 1,800 something. So kailangan kong not really, not necessarily like ma ma achieve ko yung gusto ko. But you know, gusto ko lang magkaroon ng change. I usually do. I wake up. I eat. I work out. And then, trabaho onte. Then, sock med. You know what sock med means? Social media. Because I didn't even work ko and also my business. I'm gonna teach you. Charot. I'm just gonna show you how I wrap or how I pack my order. So, from here, wait, hold on. So, from here. Teka nga, gumulan ako. So, from here, inside, yan. Itong box na to, I'm so lucky kasi meron silang minimum order, like 100 pieces. Or like, 
uh, mas malaki pa. So, ang ginawa ko, naganap ako ng pwedeng kasabay na nag, small business na, which is same kami ng gustong size. So, I got like 50 pieces sa, para makomplete yung minimum order nila. And then inside, at you know what, nung una, Japanese paper lang gamit um, kasi cheap pa ako. Na. Pero medyo nakaahoy-ahoy na tayo sa buhan. Yun. And then I print this out. It's a thank you card or like a reminder. Marami nagtatanong bakit ang naughty nga daw ng, ano ko, ng mga thank you. thank you card ko. Hello! I'm selling sexy sleepwear, bitch! Char! And then this one I got this from Shopee and then the item is in the shop. Sorry, in the con. Each box meron siyang, uh, what do you call this? Meron siyang paper. Kasi I don't, I don't wanna really go out because of the entire situation, you know. So, inuutos ko lang siya. So, meron akong cut off or off order. So, so, there's name, address, and number. Today, I'm just gonna make kwento about how I started my small business. And if you guys follow me, uh, follow me on Instagram, I always post about it. It's para lamore. So how I started it, actually, I started like three or three to four months ago without any experience. Wala akong alam sa pag so small business, pag big business. Wala. Gusto ko lang, you know, magkaroon ng small income kahit pa paano because of the, what happened, because of the pandemic. And then, ayon from... Ang dami kong natutunan, to be honest. Ang dami kong natutunan, like, from the pinakamalit na bagay or pinakamalit na problema. Kasi dati, feeling ko, uh, ang nagkakaproblema lang is yung malalaking company. Ba't hindi pala, like, kahit small business lang yung sayo, magkakaroon and darating din talaga sa point ng life mo na magkakaroon ka ng problema. Ang nangyari, so wala taga akong experience, but, just to give you an idea, I really love lingeries. I love to wear sleep. Baka ganun kas not really sexy, but you know, something na maganda pag natutulog ka. Kasi for me lang ha, funny thing about it, naniniwala, naniniwala kasi ako sa ano, sa, what do you call this, sa bangungot. So parang lagi yung sinasabi, gusto ko kahit mamatay ako from bangungot, maganda yung suot ko. Para kahit last day of my life dito sa earth, maganda ako at maganda yung suot ko. And also, um, if ever ma-accidente ako, gusto ko maganda yung panty and bra ko, di ba? Pag sinugod ako sa hospital or whatever. What else? I didn't spend that much, pero gumasos pa rin ako. Sabi nga ng isa kong boss, sabi niya sa akin, kasi I ask him, ganito, um, uh, Paano ba, paano ba yan? Like, mag-spend ako ng money. Gato, maglalabas ako. Sabi niya, spend to earn. Which is true. I mean, business is a big risk. Diba? And you have to spend not just money, but effort and time. So, dito sa business nito, ang ginawa ko talaga is, ako lang mag-isa. So, full effort from marketing strategy to logo. Although, nag-hire ako ng gumawa ng logo ko. But then, ang daming, I'm like, may mga palpak, so you have to revise, you have to revise. Kasi, yung pala, ang problema na sa akin, kasi I don't know what I really want. So, sa logo pa lang yun, I don't know what I really want. So, nung nilabas yung logo, okay, okay na yan, pwede na yan. But then I realized, after one month, sabi ko, parang hindi ko feel, walang, like, hindi ako natutuwa sa logo ko. So, pinarevise ko na, which is, na-achieve ko naman. And then, the name itself, Honestly, Farella Mora means um, to make love. Na dapat yun yung first name, to make love. But then sabi ko parang medyo naman, medyo intense, di ba, pag pinakinggan mo or binasa mo. So, ang ginawa ko, naganap ako ng other language, which is Italian, Farella Mora. But uh, at first, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Like, I pronounce it Farel Amore. So, may pause. But then, uh, so, Luckily, I asked my two friends from Italy. And then, sabi ko, Hello, paano ba i-pronounce to sa inyo? Sabi niya sa akin, Ang tamang pronunciation yan is Farella More. So, yun yung tamang pronunciation. Which is, it means um, to make love. Ayun. To make love by Kachi. My business is still growing and madami pa akong dapat matutunan and dapat gawin paano siya ma ma-boost, eh, paano siya makalala. Kasi, as of now, nasa Instagram pa lang ako. So, I'm trying to expand 
um, to Facebook and other social media accounts. To give you an idea, honestly, isa sa mga natutunan ko, it's a small business lang ha, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to prove anything here or I just want to share my experience from this business kasi natuwa ko kasi napansin ko nung una kasi parang friends ko lang yung bumibili so I struggle I was like paano ba to hindi naman forever bibili yung mga kaibigan ko eh maliit lang naman yung network ko and then hindi naman to katulad ng kanya food industry like you always get hungry after you eat o oh, konti pa nga magugutom ka na naman so bibili ka ulit ito ito kasi pag ginamit mo pwede mo ulit gamitin anytime or pwede mo ulit gamitin ng paulit-ulit so doon ako next struggle but then sabi ko uh, I doubt myself and I doubt para la more sabi ko should I stop kasi baka hindi na siya mag-click or okay nang nakuha ko na nabawi ko yung yung puhunan ko stop ko na lang but then sabi ko lagi man tatandaan kung paano ka nagsimula so never stop and you have to focus on your goal always remember that and also one thing i learned from my as a pro property specialist isa sa mga hinuro sa amin is you should know or you should love what you're selling kasi your clients or your buyers can easily tell if you know what you're selling so I love I love sleepwear, I love lingeries, I love lace. I'm so really in love with lace. So, ayun. And then, you know, that's the key. You should love or you should know what you're selling. Para it's easy for you to sell. Diba? Siguro ang maipapayo ko lang sa lahat ng mga small business like me or gusto mag small business is never doubt yourself or the business itself. I mean, siguro you have to consider so many things like paano pag naging ganito problema, hindi hindi ka lang mag-focus na may kikitain ka, but you have to think, you know, mag-look forward ka sa iba't ibang pwedeng mangyari sa business mo. And you should be ready more than like 100% ready about it. Hindi lahat ng mga yumaman ngayon or lahat ng may mga big company, nag-start din naman yan sa, sa small business which is kung anong meron ako or meron kayo ngayon. So, you know, and you have to pray and you should, and one thing is you should know your needs and wants na para, and lag, lagi yung mag-ipon. I mean, kung anong kinikita mo dun sa business na yun, itabi mo. And then pwede mo siyang gamitin ulit para dun sa business na yun. Yeah, you know, to help your business to grow. Yun, you have to know your needs and wants sa buhay. Kasi, don't spend too much sa mga material things na hindi naman masyadong kailangan. Kaya, one thing I learned and I'm still practicing na pag may gusto ko isang bagay, hindi ko siya agad in add to cart. Ang ginagawa ko, uh, nagpapalipas ako ng isang oras or dalawang oras para isipin kung kailangan ko ba to or ilang beses ko ba ito magagamit or worth it ba yung pera na isispend ko. And also, sabi ko nga sa sarili ko, if ever mag-click to or hindi, at least ginawa ko yung part ko. And not just simple effort, but like full effort. And naniniwala kasi ako na mas okay magsisi sa isang bagay na may ginawa ka. Hindi lang basta ginawa, but full effort kesa sa bagay na wala kang ginawa. Right. Thank you so much for listening and watching my video. Sana may natutunan kayo sa mga gusto mag-start, mag-small business and my current business ngayon. Sana may nakuha kayong idea and also learnings from my vlog. So that's it. Thank you so much and hope to see you in my, hope to see you in my next vlog.